Hey, what's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. It is comfort food gaming time right here on Nintendo Dads. I'm Marty, and today we're going to be checking out Super Mario Brothers 3, one of my favorite games of all time. And when I think about comfort food and I think about gaming that I just go to because, hey, I want to play this game because I remember it because it's it's so good it, it's just a comfort to me I can play it almost without thinking about it Mega Man 2 and Super Mario 3 are uh, right here on my list if you joined us last week I played some Super Mario Maker 2 levels but today we're gonna we're gonna jump in here to uh, to some uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 um, I was trying to figure out how to delete my file there. We'll see. Eh, doesn't matter. We'll just start here from the beginning. Anyway. And uh, I normally don't play this on the Super Mario All-Stars version, but I figured I would today. Just because. And ironically, playing with the Power A Super Mario Brothers uh, 3 controller. Uh, the, I love this controller. The only gripe I have about it is it's not battery powered. Uh, what's up, Tony Baker 87? Good to see you. There. Tony and others from Quest for Pixels and lots of other podcasters are joining us this weekend for Gaming for Guru. Which is a um, nearly 72, I think it is 72 hour uh, video game stream uh, for Nintendo Gurus to help raise money for his medical bills following COVID-19. And so you can head over to bit.ly, that's L-Y, Gaming for Guru, capitalize all those, Gaming for Guru, and you can go ahead and make your donation. We got confirmation today, this is crazy. Uh, PDP, who fine maker of Pixel Pals and um, all kinds of other goodies, controllers and cases, sent us a 15-pound box of stuff to give away uh, to people who donate. And you can get entered into that donation for a $10 or, uh, for those drawings. Uh, a $10 or more donation gets you an entry for every $10 you donate. You get one entry. So if you donate 20 bucks. You get two entries. Dude, we're giving away... Um, uh, we're giving away an Xbox Series S. We're giving away a Nintendo Switch. In fact, uh, I was talking with Justin about this yesterday. And uh, we're going to give away a Nintendo Switch. But we're not going to give away uh, the, just any Nintendo Switch. We're going to give away the Nintendo Switch that the winner wants. And so if the winner wants the new Mario-themed Nintendo Switch that comes out on February 12th, we're giving it that. We're give, we'll give them that. If they want the Animal Crossing Switch, we'll do our best to get a hold of that. If they want the regular old Switch with gray Joy-Cons, we'll do that. We're going to do our best to get a hold of the Switch that they want. Uh, but Xbox Series S, there's a Minecraft uh, prize package that's straight from Mojang. There's, uh, I guess it's how you say it. My son, I, we call it Mojang. I don't know, but it's foreign, so I think it's Mojang. I don't know. And anyway, so all that, there's um, literally um, image and form games uh, came in strong, and they gave us 400 codes to give away. Uh, Y'all, it's it's nuts what, what has been done. Uh, people love Bobby. Uh, Atui giving us codes. Ubisoft has given us codes. Um, I, I, I know I'm not naming everybody. There's an image that's floating around out there on the Nintendo Dad's Twitter account. That's got some more information about all the people that have given us stuff. Uh, and it's just incredible to see people come together for Guru. Uh, and we're we're praying and wish uh, him the best recovery. So Sarah says, Mario, Super Mario Brothers 3, love your content. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Mikey Dreamer, uh, is the stream sponsored by Milo's Sweet Tea? Today it is. Because, uh, hey, we're comfort food gaming. And what's better... Uh, you know, here's the thing. I hate sweet tea. I really do. But you put some lemonade in that, 
That's good stuff, man. You put lemonade in the sweet tea and you make an Arnold Palmer, I will drink it all day. I will make myself sick on it. You know what? Is it wrong if I rewind here? I don't want to lose that. <laughs> I don't care. Some people are like, rewinding is not playing. Well, okay. <laughs> I want my whistle, though. Fun fact about Super Mario 3 that I didn't know until about a year ago. And that is that when you go into these toad houses, you think you have a choice. Because there's three boxes in a lot of them, right? Not so. The game has already decided what you're going to get before you go into, when you go into the house. So all three boxes contain the exact same item. And in this case, it's a fire flower. Which is fine. Not going to use the whistle, though. I'm not going to use the whistle. We're just going to play. I, like, if I feel like using the whistle, eventually I'll use the whistle. I don't, I don't know. Am I going to beat this on the stream? Probably not. And that's okay. You know what I forgot to do? I just realized it's Thursday, and I forgot to send out the uh, show topics poll <laughs> for the show tonight. So, uh, sorry. If you if you guys are not seeing that in your inbox and you're a patron of Nintendo Dads, uh, that's my fault. <laughs> It'll get out here in just a little bit. Right now, we're going to get rid of that turtle. There we go. One up. As a kid, I dreaded this level so, so, so much because I couldn't stand the auto-scroll. And as an adult, be honest, I still don't like auto-scrolling levels, but they are okay. And playing this, honestly, just makes me more hype for uh, Super Mario 3D World coming out next month. I am definitely going to be streaming that when I get it. It is undoubtedly the greatest 3D Mario game. And... I know there's people out there who hear me say that and they cringe because it's like, it's a Mario 64, that's Mario Galaxy, and I, that I, those games have their merits. They're not Super Mario 3D World. And uh, am I using the Arctis 7P? Yes, I am. I use uh, my stream setup is uh, running from my MacBook Pro right here uh, into a second monitor. Uh, that is connected all gobbledygook with a uh, Avermedia Portable 2 Plus Live Gamer uh, and Arctis 7Ps and a Logitech webcam mounted on top of my second monitor because I think it looks better. And I love these Arctis 7Ps. I got them uh, at a recommendation of Justin and they just have overperformed. Though, I will say... Uh, OBS and streaming and everything is way harder on a Mac. I've learned that. Because there's all kinds of settings that you Windows people have that they can play around with um, that are kind of hidden for Mac users. So, I, and I, like, I get it. Mac kind of, you know, they don't want it once you fiddle in with all that stuff. They want it all to work. But, like, I need stuff to work. <laughs> like, I need it to work like I plug it in and Boom. There you go. Tomorrow, we're gonna be, I'm going to be on at 7 a.m. Central Time. And I'm going to be on from 7 a.m. through 1 p.m. And going to be playing... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be playing some Fortnite, for sure. Uh, I'm going to probably be playing uh, some... I really, really hoped that there would be like a really good new game come out this week. And... Now, I say that full well-knowing. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, the complete edition, came out today. Uh, but I just, I don't know if I'm going to stream that. I don't know. We'll see. But Fortnite for sure. Uh, and I, I don't know. Um... Like I'm, I'm now that I'm streaming here in my office. I don't know that I will do um, like gaming with my son. We had talked about possibly him doing some Minecraft. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that or not, but we'll see. That is not a one up. It is a mushroom, however. Ooh, where is the mushroom? It's here. Nope. 
Well, that didn't go good. Let's see, I bet I'm going to get a star here. Nope, leaf. <clears throat> the hardest thing about, I love the, the Art to 7 Ps. Um, the hardest thing for me uh, that I still haven't gotten figured out is like if I'm streaming and recording like this, I would love to be able to play with people and hear them in my headset, but I can't for some reason, and I don't know why. I think it has something to do with plugging into the Avermedia, but then if I plug in somewhere else, you can't hear me. It's, um, it's a weird problem. So we tried to, last week I tried to, to do a little stream with uh, my son playing Fortnite because he likes that type of thing. I like Fortnite too, a lot, too much. Um, but we just wanted to mess around and try this headset out and I just could not get it to work. I'm going to skip that. I'd much rather have this. I'd much rather have raccoon power for the boss fight. There we go. That's world one down. Who knows how far we'll go. Like Moana. There's no telling how far I'll go. not here, it's over here, I think. Yep. Or, maybe not. Ah, well, we might not know now. There it is. Oh, I don't want to do that. Ah. I love this game so much because there's so much that it introduced to the world of Mario, like new enemies and enemies behaving in different ways, um, the Koopa Kids, the world map. There is so like there is so much uh, innovation in this, like. Yes two up. So much innovation in this game. And I remember reading I would sit and pour over the uh, the issue of Nintendo Power that came out back in the day. I remember, I still remember the day I got it in the mail. And it was you know, that bright yellow cover with Mario as the raccoon suit and the sun and oh, it was just it was like um, it was like the kid on Christmas Story trying to get a Red Rider BB gun. For, for Christmas like I, everything that I thought about was Super Mario 3 for months and like I would have my dad check 
Toys R Us all the time for it because uh, for some reason I thought that was like the best place to get it. And I remember the day we I played it for the first. I played it on Nintendo. For those of you who you you may not be familiar with this part of Nintendo's history, but Nintendo used to have arcade machines called Play Choice Ten. And basically what it was is they would have a selection of games in there for like uh, of like six to eight games, I think, maybe four, where you put in a quarter and it was, or maybe it was ten games because it was a play choice ten, but anyway, you put in a quarter and you would get ten, ten minutes. And you could just, like, you could play the game as much as you wanted. So, like, if you died, you could continue as much as you wanted for ten minutes. And my local Hills department store, which Hills no longer exists either, uh, and this was in Nashville. My dad was was work was working in Nashville at the time as a banker. Um, we would go see him, and we would go to Hills. And I noticed one day that our Hills had a Play Choice Ten that months ahead of time had that was crap. Uh, <laughs> months ahead of time had a copy of Super Mario Brothers Three in it. And so I would beg, I played it that day, and I was just, like, words cannot describe how how I felt. Man, booze in this game are nuts. Like, I had forgotten how vicious they were. Um, so, the, uh, go, playing, playing that on, on, I played, like, the first world, and I remember getting to the airship, and, like, s seeing the Koopa Kid for the first time, and just flipping out all on the play choice 10 so when I was able to get the game it just it was it was magical um, and that was my first exposure to it in 1989 and well I mean I think everybody's first exposure was the wizard right uh, everybody remembers that movie um, like you know we're gonna play a game that's never been played before and it's Super Mario 3 and I, I really want this leaf but I just can't get the slide going. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, come on. I've got plenty of time. I, what I'm trying not to do is slide into spikes. But, uh, anyway. I hope there must be spikes on the ceiling or something. I guess there are. And so... Mikey asks um, if this is my preferred version, and actually it's not. That's why I'm playing it. I don't play this version very often. I like Mario All-Stars, but there's something about it that just feels... I don't know if it's the music or whatever, it feels off. And it, I... So I much prefer the original. I prefer the feel of the original. I love to play the original. Um, like, I knew that. Uh, it's a tin coin. It's not going to be that. Well, I didn't think it was going to be there, but. Star up here? No. Uh, but the, like, the feel of the original, I even like to play the original now with the, with the NES uh, controllers, you know, that you were able to get from being a club, a, a My Nintendo member uh, or Nintendo Switch Online subscriber. It just there's something about that NES controller and the way it feels. It's boxy, it's compact, but it's it's everything you need for that game, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I was gonna yeah, there is something up there, isn't there? But really, how do I? There's a good way to get to it. Oh, yeah, this is good. Because then you can get down here and you can see uh, the pyramids. They become coins. Love it. But they're just, there's just something about playing it in its original form, I think, to me, that really speaks. That's, that's what the comfort food part of it is. So, like, I'm playing it today on this because it's been a really long time since I played uh, Super Mario 3 on the All-Stars version, but 
if I'm going to sit down and really play it like I want to, it's going to be the original NES version. And what's fun, what's what's funny about that Play Choice 10, because uh, Third Strongest Mole here in the chat was saying something about he never knew about the, the Play Choice 10. Um, that's the only place I ever saw one. The only place I ever like found out about one was in an issue of Nintendo Power. And then to walk into Hills, and there is the Play Choice 10, right? And I was like, and it has Super Mario 3 in it? Like, that's some. That's kind of the some of the crazy luck that I've had like over the years. I don't know. Just crazy things like that happening. Ah, oh. <laughs> just right over it. I was like, I'm gonna sail right into it. I do prefer the NES version to this. I do. And Tony Baker is exactly right. He says feels better on NES controller, and I can still remember a certain creaking from the controller if you hold it super tight. Yes. There's the sound the NES controller makes that you're not going to get with these, right? Like, it's just, I don't know. And they, and it, it's replicated in the, in the Nintendo Switch Online version that you can get. It's, it's just so good. Uh, and I continually forget that you have to play with the B and the A button. I also have an 8-bit do, um, like one of the little tiny controllers. I should have. I should have played that with this. I, sh I should have used that for this. But, oh well. I want my leaf. Because if I go down here, there's a fire brother. And I don't want to deal with him. So... rather go up here and just get coins and finish this level. There we go. So I'm going to go down here and do this hammer, brother, because I want to get a hammer. Because that's how you get the second whistle. There it is. Multiple thanks to uh, multiple Ebusales who are watching us on multiple channels. Much Multiple appreciations. So you get the uh, frog suit here, and then you have to go, or, yeah, I usually get the frog suit here, and then you have to go down here, and this is the only time that a fire brother appears on the map, I believe. So, tread with caution. These guys are turds. Yay for a second whistle. We could go all the way to the end. I don't want to. I'll do the pyramid, though. underground music and Super Mario 3 is impeccably good on any version of this game. Right there is that we do have a recording tonight, yes. I was mentioning earlier uh, that I had forgotten to send out the um, the poll for today, and it's my bad. Uh, just got caught up with some work this morning and forgot, and then decided to stream, and well, here we are. So I'm going to go put that poll together right after this. Um, So,
Yes, I, I will agree with that. I wish that the, the 3D All-Stars on Switch had been a uh, engine upgrade as well. Uh, I would have loved to see them use the Mario Odyssey engine uh, because obviously they're using it for um, Bowser's Fury. So you can use it for other games. I mean, just remake those worlds in there, right? Swing and a miss. But Bowser's Fury looks amazing. And Mario um, Mario 3D World is amazing. For those of you guys who were out of Nintendo in the Wii U era, let me tell you, you missed out on the best uh, 3D Mario. Just, just saying. You missed out on the best 3D Mario. And now you can play it. And I'm so excited for you to play it. Um, there's one level in there, and they've not shown this off in any of the um, any of the like the promotional stuff leading up to it. People who've played it on the Wii U will know what I'm talking about when I say this. But they do an homage to Mario Kart that is just absolutely incredible. The, the way, I mean, it's got the, it's got, and it's not like Mario Kart 8. It's Super Mario Kart, the Super Nintendo game. Uh, and the way they work it in is just, it's chef's kiss. It's fantastic. Well, that don't make much sense, does it? Well, there you go, look at that. Uh, I'm like you. I'll agree with you in the chat. Uh, Ebusel is saying he wished they'd not have spoiled Giga Cat Mario or Super Saiyan Cat Mario, as he is calling him. Uh, I completely agree with that. I think that they showed off the end of the game. <laughs> and, and I would not have done that. Uh, that's okay. It's, it's, it is what it is. All right. 20 coins. All right, I know there's a mushroom there. Or maybe it was a fire flower. Uh, fire flower right there. Okay. I'm going to finish this one off, actually. Look at there. Well, I, I, we, we watch all the Nintendo trailers when they come on. What's up, Deontay? Uh, we watch all the Nintendo trailers. Like, I'll, I'll pull them up on the TV when they come up. We did it with new Pokemon Snap this morning. Um, we did it with uh, Mario. And I actually showed my son the Mario Bowser's Fury when it dropped. And I showed him the new 7-minute uh, video that they dropped yesterday for that. And um, we're super hyped. Like, I'm looking forward to uh, trying out the two-player version with him. Uh, letting him be Bowser Jr. or me be Bowser Jr. Let him be Mario. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to see. I, I am going to suspect, and this is just uh, speculation on my part, um, that Bowser Jr. has some form of like indestructibility, like, like Nabbit did in New Super Mario Brothers uh, U, uh, or New Super Luigi U. Like he could just run through anything and he could always come back. Um, I th I'm gonna bet Bowser is Bowser Jr. is like that, so that you can play. You know, parents can play with their kids. I, I imagine that's exactly what Nintendo's thinking with that. Uh, at least I hope so. If not, it's gonna stink if you are playing two player and you lose Bowser Jr. and you have to have him. Though that's why I think that you're not gonna be able to lose him because it seems like he's really integral to your success. By the way, I know that the lineup of Koopa Kids has changed over the years, like, as far as when they appear in the game, but the only acceptable lineup of Koopa Kids as bosses, like, 1 through 7, is this game. Right? This game. It starts with Larry, and it goes through Ludwig. Or, as you know him from the Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3 car cartoon, Kooky Von Koopa, which I don't... Why did they change... I don't know. Uh, Bowser Jr. is always there, even in single player in Bowser's Fury. He actually helps you out 
Uh, he's going to like find items for you and actually attack enemies. Um, I... Yeah, Seth Sturgill says they're doing a big old Bowser's Fury discussion on this week's All In podcast. By the way, go check out the All In podcast if you don't already. Great stuff. Great stuff from those guys over there. Go check them out. Uh, and they, they said they'll, he'll function the, basically like Cappy. Yeah. Can we just call Toad the K name? He'll always be Morton Cooper Jr. to me. Yes. He's Morton Cooper. I don't even know. What was he in? Bully Koopa or something like that? Or that was Roy. Uh, anyway. I think there's a frog suit right down here. Or maybe it's just a fire flower. Oh, Mario Water Music too. by the way, always on point. And I also don't know why this version turned the bloopers pink. Unless it was just to be different. I hate those flowers. Indestructible. Always breathing out fire. Ugh. Or maybe those are like urchins or something. I don't know. I thought when I was a kid I thought they were fireballs. You can't go in here and get a frog suit, I believe. No. And that's another thing about this game. Secrets everywhere. Stages are so masterfully put together. Love it. I, I don't think this is a frog suit either. But, no, nope, it's a one-up. I'll take it. Look at him. He was crouched there. He was waiting. Canopio equals toad. Uh, you definitely want um, some firepower here. You also don't want to lose that at all. <laughs> and it's very easy to do. Reminds me how frustrating these levels are. But I will say Mario um, Mario All-Stars did add some very nice background details uh, in this in these game in this game especially. Uh, Seth, I will gladly accept being on for 3D World. Um, just know you're going to have to set... Like you, I, I need like an egg timer, okay? Because like, that's why Nintendo Dad's episodes are two hours long. It, I mean, Justin and I can't shut up. It's it's pretty bad. Did, did I just... Did I just switch from... Uh, did I just sw swap from Milo's Sweet Tea to Mountain Dew? Yes, I did. I, I I bought one at Walmart and left it in the car and then I went in for lunch where um, y'all look can I just tell you something hook you up uh, get, you know oh my gosh wife you up a woman who can make you a fire grilled cheese for lunch all right because that's what my wife did today and y'all it was it was something else. I hate, I hate that, that big fish, big Bertha. I hate her. Yeah, I, and, and here's the thing, I wonder why, why did they not make that an element in Super Mario Maker 2? I honestly feel like Super Mario Maker 2 did not get enough updates. Like, there was stuff that I felt like they could have done, like, very legitimately, Right? And I'm like, where is this? And it's not there. Ah. Uh. They should have had a Mario All-Star style. I agree with that. I mean, like, 
just where you could sw swap it back and forth for all the games. And honestly, they put in the Mario 2 stuff, and it, it, it's it's okay, but it shows me they could have done it, and I want, I want the full Mario 2 experience, right? I really do. That's why I should have played some Mario Maker 2 today. Like, I'll probably play some tomorrow on Gaming with Guru, but um, I always forget which one of these it is. As a kid, I used to know I could, I could beat this level like nothing, man. It's not that one. Maybe it's this one? Yes! Yeah, Deontay says he thinks that they saw the sales weren't there, and I, see, I don't know why, because like the community for Mario Maker, and even Mario Maker 2, is you know, it's good. I did, hey, I did sign up for Splatfest. Thank you for that reminder. Everybody needs to go sign up for Splatfest. I'm Team Shroom, uh, Team Superstar, or Super, Super Mushroom, Mega Mushroom, whatever it's called. Uh, God, they start out with the 1-Up? Come on. It's my phone's ringing. Um, it's just going to have to ring. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I forgot to unplug it before I started. But yeah, I, like, here's the thing. Mushroom is such a better power-up than, than the other. Than, than the Fire Flower. Like, you gotta have Mushroom. I mean, uh, or not Fire Flower, Superstar. Superstar goes away. If you're good, you can keep Mushroom the whole time. You know? And that, and I hate yellow. That's, that's just a terrible color. I, I just yellow as, a, as it exists is not good. So... I don't know, I have a yellow bias. Oh yeah, the, the the dialogue for that was fantastic. But but it was buried yesterday because I haven't played Splatoon in literal months, and I had like ten minutes of them talking yesterday. I was like, this this is never going to end. These little bitty Goombas are the devil. I hate Likey Two Two, and somebody at Nintendo decided, you know what? Spinies aren't annoying enough already. Let's make them roll. Yeah, uh, Splatoon 3 is... They, they gotta be able to skip the dialogue, man. Like, I just need to be able to pull up something and it say, here's your stages for the day. Like, I don't need goofy dialogue that's the same every time I log in. I don't, I don't need any of that. Quality of life stuff that makes it a little bit better. Skip the dialogue. Skip the skip the whole thing. Like you should be able to turn that off in the in the settings. Like <laughs> do you do you want to see Pearl and Marina? No, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Just let me go kill some people. There is a frog suit up there. No way I'm getting up there. Am I going to skip the whole stage? If I can, yes. Because this one is, uh, this is a pill. Took the hit. Took one for the team. Yay. 
yeah, that and and really Seth mentions that he's going to punish himself again for the Nintendo for the my Nintendo mission. Uh, the pins, yeah, like I got to get the pins, man. I got the first set. I and the, have you seen the new set? Have you seen the second set? Because they look amazing. They look fantastic. I was hoping those bridges would close so I could get over there. It's also the only Mario game where you r ride a little canoe on the map, which is interesting. Ah. Uh, yeah, am I doing it over? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. weird. <laughs> that, that brick wouldn't break. Yeah, I really do hope that the, um, the, the, the ordering process for these is much better. I, I will completely agree with that. Uh, the last, the last pin set process was ridiculous. You guys realize we're getting Pokemon's 25th, Zelda's 35th, Metroid's 35th, uh, all in the same year, right? Uh, and, like, what are they going to do? I mean, they, <laughs> I feel like, and I, like, I, I mean, I guess you could blame a pandemic, right? But I feel like they barely did Mario 35th. Like, it was like, at the end of the year, like, oh, oh yeah, we got to do Mario. Um, but, man, like, Zelda... Zelda 35th. I, you know what? You, can I tell you what my big pipe dream wish is? Here's my big pipe dream wish. Is that we finally get... Because I was convinced when I was a kid that we were going to get Zelda All-Stars because we had gotten Mario All-Stars. I would kill for a remake of the first two Zelda games um, done this way. I would kill for, at this point, a playable remake of Zelda 2. And by playable, I mean I don't want to throw my controller out the window all these years later while I'm playing it. Uh, if they did the Link, a Link Between Worlds engine, or if they did Link's Awakening engine, and just upgraded the graphics, uh, man, I really hope for Mario's 35th we were going to get... Um, I'd really hope for Mario's 35th we were going to get Super Mario Land 2 remade because Link's Awakening got a remake. Uh, but no. And that that's on my list. That's on my short list of games that incredibly deserve a remake. Because, dude, it's Wario. It's like his first appearance. Uh, but... Think about it at this point. How many Nintendo gamers have never played the original Legend of Zelda? Like, where it all started? Like, how many people... I mean, it's ingrained in me. I'm 40 years old. I'm going to be 41 this year. It's ingrained in me. Because it's, you know, 1987, 1988. I got my Nintendo in 88. And I, I'm sure, I, like, that first year I got Zelda. Uh, I know it was already out. But, but, like, think about how many Nintendo pe gamers have not played the original Legend of Zelda. Like, it all began. I would love, I would, like, I would kill to play that. If they would just, like, if, even if they would do, like, a pack. And, and, of course, I know, like, the package everybody wants is the, um, the, the, Wii U HD remixes, right? Like, do uh, remix, HD remaster. 
Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, yes, on my Switch, please. And then uh, give me Skyward Sword, too, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a Skyward Sword fan. Only Zelda I've never finished, besides Zelda 2. I've only finished Zelda 2 because of Game Genie. So, really, in reality, what will probably happen is we'll get uh, The Wand of Gamelion uh, remade. But I, I, I speculate, and this just, again, this is Marty speculation. This is not, I have no basis of fact for this, okay? I have a suspicion that we are getting Breath of the Wild 2 this year. If a Switch Pro launches, if it exists, Breath of the Wild will launch with it. If it doesn't, I don't know. Yay. Fee is very chatty in in Skyward Sword. I agree with that quag, but um I just like the, the, the repetition, like going to the same three areas again and again and again. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of killed it for me. And and the, 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 the motion controls. Like, I get it. They wanted everything to be motion control. Um, but I just... Mm, I didn't want everything to be motion controlled, if that makes sense. Why did I do that? Hey, ba bombs. I love how they conveniently take everything they really like out of Mario 2, uh, but they don't want to acknowledge Wart. He's the uh, he's the forgotten villain of the Mario universe. Kind of uh, well, uh, well, or even worse, at least Wart came, you know, had an appearance in Leak's Awakening. Uh, Tatanga is even worse. I mean. Poor guy, he tries to take over the, the, the kingdom, uh, the Princess Daisy's Saraceland kingdom, and then it's just like, we're through with you. I guess he did get a little unofficial um, boss battle in Mario Land 2, but never really say he was Tatanga, right? Go over here and get the frog suit. Or nah. <laughs> Just fall down the hole. And at this point, I don't care. <laughs> That's called what not to do. Uh, Wart was in Doki Doki Panic. I believe. So, it's a good question. I don't think he was reskinned. I don't think any of the enemies were reskinned. I think it was just the uh, protagonist. So, if if the if Skyward Sword on Switch, it would be the motion controls would be worse. Is this an unportable game? Unless they completely overhaul it, completely redo it. I, I would almost wager to say yes. I love how they work in the enemy from um, Super Mario World here. Also liked in the original um, version of Mario 3, all the airships are different colors. Or a lot of them are different colors. There's blue and almost a purple. and I want to say there's like a, a dark green or something as well. Oh, the 
these bolts. These things right here are maddening. Yeah, thankfully Mario Galaxy didn't rely on motion controls really at all. I mean, they you they remapped the the spin to the Y button, and that felt really natural. So, uh, I forgot she shoots a ring every time she pops up. There we go, World Three done. Well, guys, we're coming up on an hour here today, and that's going to be about it for Comfort Food Gaming. i got to go and run a couple of errands and pick up my son and do all kinds of stuff, but be sure to check us out tonight on uh, YouTube and Twitch for our weekly podcast recording. We're going to talk about all kinds of things, including Super Mario 3D World, the um, pushing back the date of Super Nintendo World's launch in Japan due to covid Lots of other things that we've got to talk about this week, too. It'll be in your audio feed on Fridays. And be sure to come back 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We need a huge push. We need as many of you as possible retweeting, sharing, talking about Gaming for Guru. Uh, we've already crossed the $10,000 mark. The, the original goal of the GoFundMe was $10,000. My pipe dream, y'all, is this. My pipe dream is that we raise another $10,000 for Guru this weekend. Uh, and so hashtag gaming for guru share that up uh, and be sure to remember every ten dollars you give is an entrance to win systems prize packs game codes we're going to be giving away game codes live on stream uh, pdp accessories all kinds of of stuff uh, tomorrow morning beginning at 7 a.m i'll go till 1 p.m justin will pick up at 1 p.m and go until about 6 jesse will pick up then until about 8 and then Tim will pick up and do the dinner table show, and I will come back on at 1 a.m. and finish out 24 hours of gaming for Guru. But it's not just us. Holly Crossing, Kato Potato, um, the Xbox Drive, PlayStation Trophy Room, uh, Mega Dads, PSVG, Quest for Pixels, um, and Lizabelle. Everybody's in. Everybody's doing this, guys. And... Y'all, there's so much, so many prizes, so much at stake. We need to make a difference for Guru. We love him. Uh, we're so thankful for him. He's been on our show. We've been on his show. Uh, and so help us out this weekend uh, with hashtag gaming for Guru. It's going to be an amazing, amazing weekend of gaming and raising money for Bobby. Thanks for hanging out for Thursday afternoon comfort food gaming. I'll see you next week right here on Thursday for another session. We'll see you then. Bye.